This is Alcoholic Luigi with Josh Weedy Weedy Peeny Beeny Beeny. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out this puzzle that I can't figure out because I I'm suck still, at it. You're still trying to figure out my name as well. Yeah, but that's because your name sucks. Stop having a shitty name. That would, that would fix everything. I mean, you know, I have this simple, straightforward name. Alcoholic Luigi. It's hard to forget. I actually, I actually do remember being kind of stuck on this part when I played. I'm being not super into this part. Yeah, I'm not super into anything involving a fucking puzzle. Because those require thinking, and I find that I've done a little too much drinking in my life to do the thing. Oh, if I push L3, they'll give me a hint. That's not a hint, that's just telling me what to do. Which I am okay with. Climb up on the. Oh, do you have to go through the crate and then climb up on the other side? Oh. It's so obvious now. It, right. Why didn't I see that? Because really, that's that. Actually, that was pretty well hidden. Because you know when you walk. Through, right. I bet there's a bunch of shit up this crate. I bet you there is. Oh, this place stinks. Eh, yeah, words all run. Coffee shops a lot? I did. All the time. And what would you get? Just. just coffee. Just coffee, huh? Just coffee. Never be not coffeeing. That's generally my strategy for life. Never be not coffeeing. See, I could make all these smoke bombs, but I don't give a shit. Like, they don't... I've, I've not needed them. Like, you won't really need them until, like, the end of the game. And then you'll be kind of thankful that you have them. But there's a stair, there's actually a stairway up, up to your left. I'm kind of curious to see where that goes. Like, through that doorway, you have to swim, swim there. You're getting your clothes all wet. Again. That, that happens. I bet you there's just nothing up here. No, it'll be something. It'll be a, a flicker or something. If there's a clicker, I'm gonna kill you. Like you, specifically. It will be your fault, and I'm going to physically kill you here in the real world. It'll be like if you were in Canada. Everybody knows if you die in Canada, you die in real life. So you got a bunch of, like, spikes and shit. You got a ship. Look at that. Now, now you're thinking. That's... Yeah, no, I'm not. Okay, I kind of am. You have a spike bat. You can probably make a nail bomb. Oh, yeah. No, but I do have a nail bomb. I just don't use it. Yeah. Okay, now I go up. Do you think those hunters are gone? No, they're not gone. I'm gonna have to kill them. Because, you know, I'm a psychotic bastard. And they're psychotic bastards, and there can be only one. It's clear, Ellie. Come on down. Oh, you ever stayed a place like this? Let's see. Oh, well, there's plenty of water here still. Never be not watering. No, no, I could I could be no, not watered too many times. That's Naughty Dog's design strategy. That that seems to be true, but um, 
I'm not clear that's a design strategy I'm particularly enthused by. I would be perfectly happy there. with not watering. But I got a ladder. Naughty Dog also says never be not laddering. It's true. Their, their whole never be not bandicooting thing. You're right. That didn't work out for them too well. But, um... Uh, where do I place this? Maybe over yonder? Maybe over yonder. Although Crash Bandicoot was, was a good game. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I never played it. It won't let me place it here. The water. Yeah, but uh, fuck the water. I want to place it there. Dead of it. Yeah, that's that's obviously not the spot. Got a ladder. Gotta do something with it. It's over to your right. Oh. Oh, that's the window I came in from. No, oh, it's really right there. Uh, that's near the spot where I got... Oh, but maybe right here. There we go. Now I'm gonna look over yonder and see if I can swipe more shit. I feel like the most important game mechanic in this game is swiping shit. No, absolutely. Oh, I'll be checking in for one night, and I would like your finest sweet, please. The hell are you Yeah, doing? I bet you you're, think you're clever. You are a weird kid. Yeah, I'm 14 years old. I'm going to make these jokes. I got a Molotov now. So, you know, if it comes up, I can be Molotov. I feel like if ContinueCast ever watches these things, they're going to yell at me for swiping their joke. Because I, I, I get the feeling, like, I don't know, but I get the feeling that Never Be Not Xing is like one of their gags. But I'm, I, but I'm going to call it an wait, homage. Wait, over there. There's where you need to put your ladder. Where the balcony is broken. You are correct. But, thankfully, at least there was some reason to go up there. Speaking of which, do I have enough to do anything? Yes! Huh. I'm trying to decide what, what's useful. I always go for maximum health first, so I would hold off for five You know, you're, you're, I think you're correct. I think maximum health would make my life much happier and more joyful than any of the other things I could do. I'm on it. Anything over here? Nope. What do I got from all on? Do I got any more revolver bullets? I do, but not really. What about more? Nope, those are all my pistol bullets. Watch your step. All those times I didn't need ammunition. Oh, I wish I had some more. Because I kind of like being at full ammo, even though I almost never use <laughs> guns. But lately. <sighs> Uh, this, 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 this part is a little sketchy. I'm just, I'm just warning you. Well, I'm gonna pause myself and take a swig. 
Check for what? I ain't seen it Because I'm too sober to magoo my way through this. Aha. Uh -huh. Look how badass that club looks. Like, there's a big fucking pair of scissors sticking through it. Like, it's just awesome. Right? Never be not magooing. Never be not magooing. Come on. Listen mode. You know, I threw a brick and they're not coming. That that upsets me. Well, I set him on oh fire. I consider that to be a success. You successfully started a dude on fire. I mean, that's... right. Nothing to be ashamed of. Right? Get a helmet on. Oh, man. Fucking helmets. That's Ellie. Let's do this. And he just dodged my shot. <laughs> you, that was like a genitalia blender. That's what you call that. I'm that okay with that. There. That entertains me. <laughs> a genitalia blending shot. I am curb stomper. He really just stomps his helmet, though. He get up with it. What the hell is that? That's okay, he can get up with a hell of a headache, as long as he doesn't try to kill me again. I feel like a guy's gonna come right out here, and then it's gonna be here and it's gonna miss him. Because, seriously, I suck at gunplay. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh, yes, I do, because they have guns and it sucks. It's a good thing I have Ellie to throw bricks at them for me. Otherwise, I would never survive. See, like that. You could switch for a lead pipe, but I don't think you want to at this point. You also have spikes in your back. Right, and I don't think I've actually... He just kind of came out of nowhere. It kind of looks like... Oh, never mind. Fuck. Kind of want to heal now. Yay! There's Ellie. Some shotgun bullets. I probably would go for the lead pipe now, because it, it's stronger than the baseball bat, now that you don't have your spikes on it. Do I not have my spikes on the baseball bat? Oh, I see. I only get one hit with the spikes. I got two, but that might be a thing you have to get later in the game. Or maybe I did hit somebody twice and I just didn't notice. I feel like... Well, there's more space here, but I was feeling like um, they don't let listen mode work as well with the living enemies as with the zombies. But also, it may be a matter of this place is bigger. I think that's a guy. Is that a person? It looks like a person. Why are they not showing up in listen mode? <laughs> Is it because they're standing still? Maybe. Maybe. 
I don't know. Point I is, never, I never, I never got really to use listen mode as we discussed in previous episodes. Right, you don't, you don't like winning, and um, I find not winning to be stupid. <laughs> so many great places to hide stuff in here, and, and there just there's no stuff. Right. I think they must have known I was coming, and then they like just totaled everything. Ooh, but I got some shit there. They're like, here he comes, put everything in the drawer. Yeah, right. Don't, no, no, not the bathtub, he'll see it there. <laughs> no, the toilet's the first place he'll think to check. The drawer that has the big glowing triangle hovering above it. Right, he'll never look in there. <laughs> Wait, there was a glowing triangle over that. No, there wasn't. That was just wishful thinking. And no, I always want the brick. Okay, Ellie, you're, you're right in my way, dear. There you go. Thing in here, no. There's the brick, I'm full up. Some alcohol, some rags. Let's see what I can make now. At some point, I should probably use this nail bomb. But, you know, my ability to actually hit stuff I throw at things. You're right. That you're sentence, nail bomb. Uh, that, that sentence kind of got away from me there. Your, your nail bombs are like proximity mines. Like you can throw them down and when the enemies come they'll <sighs> set them off with their closeness. Well that's that's a thing I wish I would have known much earlier. I probably did know it but alcohol made me forget. But I'm gonna blame you. I kind of feel like I should try to check back there. Apparently nothing. You know, shut up, Hint. I mean, I probably will need you, but right now I'm just exploring. The Hint is gonna say, stop exploring, you're annoying me. Nah, the Hint's gonna be like, dude, you're playing great. I can make a nail bomb. Nope, I want my lid pipe. <laughs> 